Hi, welcome to another plotterroot.com tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Make Me a Root feature, which automatically generates roots for you. You just need to say where you want to start and how long you want your root to be, and it will come up with a list of roots to choose from. You can access the Make Me a Root feature from the menus or by clicking on the Make Me a Root icon in the Root Planner toolbar. We'll begin by locating the start point. We're going to start from a car park in Richmond Park near Kingston-upon-Thames. So we'll type Kingston in the Locate map box. Now we need to click on the map where we want the route to start. We can then drag the start marker if we need to move it slightly. Now we can look at the other settings. We want to make routes for cycling, so we'll choose that option. Then we can choose whether we prefer roads, paths or have no preference. The road setting will attempt to avoid any unpaved surfaces that aren't suitable for road bikes and also the busiest roads. The path setting will favour off-road options where available and also avoid busy roads. We'll set it to paths. Then we'll choose how long we'd like the routes to be. I'm going to ask for routes about seven miles long. By default, the Make Me a Route feature will make circular routes, but we can also choose to make A to B routes, for example, a 15 mile route from home to work. When you select A to B routes, you'll notice that a second marker is added to the map which you can drag to the location where you want the routes to finish. As you drag this, the distance counter will show you the route distance as the crow flies. This is helpful to gauge how far from the start you can go, given how long you want the routes to be. For this example though, we're going to go for circular routes. The next option is to add a via point. Adding a via point makes the route generator produce routes that go through this point. It might be a cafe where you want to stop for refreshments or simply a point on the map in the general direction that you want to head. When you select this option, another marker labelled C is added to the map. You just need to drag it to where you want the route to pass through. Finally, we can specify areas that we would like to avoid. This might be a busy town or a road. We can do this by clicking the plot area to avoid button and then clicking around the area we want to avoid. Once done, we click confirm and the area is added to a list in the left hand panel. We can add further areas in the same way. To remove any areas we've added, click on the cross icon on the relevant one in the list. OK, we've chosen all the options we want, so now we'll click the Make Routes button to generate the routes. The route planner will search around the start point in different directions, attempting to make routes that are around 7 miles long, using the settings that we chose. We can see the progress here. If you don't want to wait for it to finish, you can stop it part way through if you like and it will display any routes that have been generated to that point. Once it's done, we get a list of options to choose from. The route closest to the length we wanted is shown at the top and is the one initially shown on the map. We can preview any of the other options by clicking on them in the list. You can also compare how hilly the different options are by looking at the total ascents. Once we've chosen the one we like, we click Accept Route and the detailed route will be loaded up for us along with the directions. We can then save it so that we can share it or come back to it later. If you want to make any changes to the route, you can use the editing tools in the toolbar. 
You can see a demonstration of some of these in our tutorial video on editing routes. You can also go back and choose one of the other generated routes by selecting Make Me a Route Again. That's it. Have fun making routes and check out our how-to guides from the menus for more help and advice.